Hi guys and welcome to the Samsung CHG70 review HDR update. I just bought a PS4 and I lent a 4K Blu-ray player and we will find out how the Samsung CHG70 will handle the 4K Blu-ray player and if the PlayStation version will be better than the PC version. And uh, we will compare Mass Effect on the PC version versus Mass Effect on the PS4 version. We also will take a closer look into Horizon for the PS4 with HDR and compare without HDR on the Samsung CHG70 of course and we will take a look into the movie Passengers and see how the Samsung will handle 4K, a 4K Blu-ray player with HDR. Yeah. Okay, first let's take a closer look with an SDR Mass Effect 4 on the PC version. Everything looks fine, colors are very intense, the general image quality is very good. Turning on HDR at the same area, first we can see that the image is very dark and colors are very washed out on the PC version. We also can see that we are missing a lot of details in dark areas like on the rocks. Within this area we can see on the HDR version colors on the mushrooms are very washed out compared to the SDR content. And details in dark areas also are very hard to capture within the eyes. At this area we can see also that the colors are much more intense on the SDR version compared to the HDR version. I also tried to set the same brightness level to compare SDR within HDR. We can see on the HDR version that the dynamic range of course is much better within more details in bright image content. But in general I would say on the PC the SDR content looks a bit better. So PS4 SDR versus HDR on the same area and we directly can know that colors does not suffer as much as on the PC version. The HDR version also has a better dynamic range but not that much intense colors as the SDR version. At this area I want to show you that the HDR version on this monitor has still a lot of problems within details and dark image content. It's also very important to know that HDR content or even SDR content is not easy to capture on camera and you don't will see the same image as I do. Depending on camera settings you will lose details in darks or bright image content. But in general on the SDR content you still will have more details in darker areas. Here's another very good example for the PS4 Mass Effect Andromeda HDR version. On the PC version colors are totally off, on the PS4 the colors are there. The only one problem still is that the image is too dark and we miss details in the shadows and dark image content. Otherwise I have to say HDR really improves the image quality. But the Samsung CHG70 has still issues within brightness and only 8 dimming zones. This also is a very good example for colors on the HDR PS4 version. The dynamic range of course is better but still on dark image content like the shadows again and the rocks etc. You will lose more details. Also at this area I have to say I've liked the HDR version more than the SDR version. Now I will just let you watch within the informations and the first two comparisons I gave you. The PC and the PS4 in direct one-to-one -one comparison within the same game and the same areas. Nevertheless, the PS4 version looks much better compared to the PC version. And I think it's a problem within Windows or AMD graphics cards, drivers, 
compatibility. Within Horizon and the Samsung CHG70, we can see the same problem within details and dark image content. The next problem otherwise is that the Samsung CHG70 only has 8 dimming zones and they probably giving the whole time its full power. This results in worse black levels, worse viewing angles and the general worse image quality. This is a very good example why a huge amount of dimming zones is very important, especially for HDR games. At this area, for example, HDR gives a huge improvement within image content. And it looks just phenomenal with the dynamic range and bright image content. The only one thing I'm missing here is again details in dark image content like the shadows at the trees behind the girl in the fo small forest. Here I just will let you watch the opening cinematic from Horizon while HDR looks just phenomenal in comparison to SDR. But still, the Samsung does not have enough brightness reserves, in my opinion, and dimming zones. So, have fun watching. What's that now? Don't like the cold? Can't stay in today. We have a ritual to perform, you and I. your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend and matriarchs perform the ritual, but we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast, another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this, one day. I'm 
matriarch Tirsa. What is she doing here? Does she mean to forbid the ritual? No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted... I have tried to watch Passengers 4K HDR with a 4K Blu-ray player on the Samsung CHD70 and I was very disappointed, unfortunately. As you can see, the whole image is extreme dark, blacks are not that good, we are missing a lot of details, even in brighter image content as in this scene from Passengers, and the Samsung just don't have enough brightness for HDR movies. Okay, for the conclusion. First we find out that the issues with an HDR on a PC probably occurs within Windows 10 drivers and issues. Second, even with appropriate fixes and upgrades I really cannot recommend the Samsung CHD70 for HDR content. While in my opinion the Samsung does not have enough dimming zones and not enough brightness power. And if you are interested in further information within Brightness Peaks and Samsung Displays, I put a video link description from Artings, which is a YouTube reviewer for televisions, and he also had some issues with wrong stated brightness uh, peaks within Samsung TVs. Third, on the PS4, HDR looks very nice, and it makes me really curious for more HDR content and more HDR. Uh, monitors and televisions. Sometimes HDR looks better, sometimes a little bit worse because uh, of less amount of details in shadows. The colors otherwise looks much better on the PS4 than on the PC. HDR movies looks pretty bad, I was really disappointed and the general image quality is just too dark and you barely can see some details. And the future of HDR, I think this is not just only a marketing gimmick. And like already mentioned, I'm really curious in the new Acer and Asus models with over 300 dimming zones, which is absolutely crazy. And yeah, I wanted to say thanks for all the last subscriptions within my channel and I hope I can catch you in the next video. Bye bye!